Hello, Beanie Man here. One year away from commercialized flying cars and hoverboards, according to Robert Zemeckis and Bob Gale. And I'm late with my first video. It's a good thing we agreed on no punishments. Oh, and just to let you know before I get started, I do have hair under the hat, but I like the hat to be on when it's cold. And it is about 25 degrees outside right now, so it's cold. So a little bit about me. I like video games, Super Nintendo games, Steam games, indie games, etc. I don't really play many big mainstream games. Maybe because I don't have any of the mainstream consoles and I have a not very graphically intensive computer. So, indie games and classic games. Music. I like stuff like Alltecker, Square Pusher, Venetian Snares, all the stuff that Kelly stole in her video. She learned about through me because she listens to country and I wanted to expose her to more than country. I like learning new things. Right now I'm trying to learn how to play the piano. I have a Micro Korg XL synthesizer, which I will go run and get and show you right now. This is it right here. It's a little compact, has all kinds of little slots in the back. Ooh, and there's the name. Korg XL. Oh, that's not on that side. There it is, Micro Korg. Right now all I can do is make sound effects on it, but it's fun to make sound effects. I've also borrowed my mother's learning piano that she just got. Uh, to learn how to actually play the piano instead of just making noises. But noises are the thing that got me into music and it's probably the thing that's going to keep me there. Probably why I like Altecker and Square Pusher, things like that. Because it's primarily noises set to a beat sometimes. I'm also aspiring to learn Spanish. I have a lot of Spanish friends and my brother gave me a copy of Rosetta Stone, so that would be really cool. I'd I learned a little bit of Spanish when I was in high school, but around the area where I grew up, there weren't that many Spanish-speaking people, so it was hard to learn through exposure. But now I know a lot more people that speak Spanish, so it's a little easier. I just recently started reading old Marvel comics, and they are hilarious. It's like watching old B-movies. It's pretty funny. But some of them are actually really good. They're really, really well written. And then there's some really bad ones, too. But it's stuff like uh, Fantastic Four... The Incredible Hulk, which is terrible so far. The Avengers, X-Men, uh, Daredevil's about to come up in my list. Uh, Ant-Man, which is about to be a movie. And Thor. I think that's all of them that I've... Oh, and Spider-Man, which is really awesome. I never liked Spider-Man until I started reading the comics. And now I think it's really good. Also, Bone is a graphic novel that Hiram recommended to me that I've, I've been reading that more recently. I, I got a little ways into it and put it down, but now I'm getting back into it, and it's pretty good so far. Movies and TV shows and such. I like mostly cooking shows and science fiction. I am a huge Trekker, Trekkie, T-Rex, whatever you want to call me. I've watched all the Star Trek series except for finishing the original Star Trek. I know, what kind of T-Rex am I? I like Star Wars all right, but I'm more into science fiction than fantasy, and I think Star Wars is more fantasy-based, but it's still good. It's just I'm more into the techie side of science fiction rather than the, the fantasy side of the knights and princesses and wizards and warriors and all that kind of stuff, which is mostly what Star Wars is. I prefer the techie stuff like computers and spaceships and teleporters and androids and things like that. And those are things that are in Star Wars, but they're not things that are focused on, really. They're just accent flavor for the universe that they live in. I like reading, though admittedly I don't spend enough time doing it. Whenever I start reading, about five minutes into it, I get really tired. Probably because I have horrible posture, which is something I'm working on. I just finished a book that my mom let me borrow, Matrix Energetics which is really cool. I don't necessarily agree with all the stuff the guy said, but he talks a lot about thinking in a more imaginative way, and I like the way that he words all of it. It's very straightforward and easy to understand, and I think everybody should read it because sometimes we can all get a little close-minded. And the book I started reading after that was Abundance of Catherines by John Green. Uh, this is the last book I have to read by John Green, not including the books he's co-authored with other people. I haven't read any of those. 
Um, John Green's the nerd fighter guy. Vlog Brothers, all that stuff. You can read about him right there. Yes. That's what he looks like right there. Hello, John Green sitting on a fountain. Speaking of writers, I am a writer myself. I have not published anything, but I am starting to finish things. Yes, starting to finish things. I'm trying to get better about that. I've started a lot of stories, but I never stuck with them. I was a bit of an impulsive writer, and I'm trying to be more consistent with things like that. I like lists. I like portmanteaus. And actually, lists and portmanteaus are how I've started a lot of my stories. I take lists of names and places and objects, stuff like that, and I scramble them up with a website that I use to make things that are pronounceable but aren't necessarily things you've ever heard of before. And then I use those scrambled up words and say, what is this? Are you a person? Are you a place? Are you a thing? And after I ask those questions and put down little descriptions of those things with the characters that I have, I take that particular group and I set them into a situation that's probably set on one of the other words that I came up with, a planet or a ship or a village or town or whatever, uh, in a car. I don't know. It depends on what kind of story I'm writing. I don't really stick to one genre. The most current thing that I'm writing is technically sci-fi, but it has more to do with the relationships than the actual sci-fi element of it. Futuristic. Young adult fiction, I guess you could say. I stick those people together and in have them interact with those objects and I just say what if and and who are you and what do you have in common with these people I usually have at least one set of siblings and at least one relationship then I give them conflicts and see what happens I'm definitely a character driven writer I don't normally focus on plot I think if the characters get together and they interact with each other plot will come out of that but not everyone writes like that, and that's one of the cool things about being a writer. You can write however you want, as long as you can finish a story, and it's good. Talking a lot about finishing things, I have made a resolution to finish things, but it is not a New Year's resolution because I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions. I think today is the best day to make a resolution, and tomorrow never comes. So I'm Beanie Man Justin. That's a little bit about me. Thanks for watching.